Finance. So I call to order the East Lane Board of Finance regular meeting for Wednesday, August 14th, 2019. Please rise for pledge allegiance. Thank you. Delegations, delegations, an opportunity for anybody in town that would like to speak about anything that's currently on our agenda. Do we have anybody that would like to speak about the agenda item tonight? Delegations? No delegations? Seeing none? We'll close delegations. Okay. Item four, approval of the meeting minutes for July 24th, 2019. Has everybody looked at the meeting minutes that were attached to our packets? Yes. Yes. Do we have any questions or amendments or edits? Yes. Please. Uh, Karen, just a, a tiny typo on the first page under new business. Scott, Bass, Scott Bassett, principal with RSM, explained that the town, <laughs> T-O-W-N. Oh, there's no one in town. page one. Yeah. Well, there's no one in town? Oh. Yep. Well, just, there should be. <laughs> That's okay. And I would never point that out, except I have a, a few other minor changes, so I figure I'll just throw that in there. Um, page three. Fourth paragraph down, Ms. Alberti said. So, I think you were trying to capture. Go to, go to another vendor, I think, probably. Well, actually, I just rewrote the paragraph to capture the sentiment that I was trying to convey. So, I would like to read that, and I'd like the board to consider the correction. So instead of the first uh, sentence I've written, Ms. Alberti said that she would prefer that they not transfer the money and simply return it to the town's general fund. Further analysis can be done and brought forward to the BOF in the current fiscal year or included in the 2021 budget cycle. In the meantime, if a satisfactory price per gallon cannot be negotiated with the vendor, that supplies the current lease tanks, then it is always an option to lease tanks from another vendor and negotiate a better price with that new vendor, especially since the tanks are above ground and can easily be swapped out. I don't think you get to rewrite when you're doing it. Look at it, what you thought you wanted to say or how you wanted to convey it. If you want to hand it to me, I'll be more than happy to attach it to the new minutes. Okay. So if you've written it, I will be more than happy to do that. I do because okay. I, I re listened to the tape, and this is the essence of what I was saying, which I'm not sure got captured. Okay, that's okay. Okay. Oh, super. Thank you. Thanks. Anything else? Yes. <clears throat> and this just might be me, but. On page four. Yes. Under reports. Mm -hmm. uh, is it what uh, I don't recall Elisa Roberts speaking? It was Mariana Stevens Lisa and Roberts Amy. Was that other lady, wasn't she? Yeah, there were two of them here. Yeah. And Amy. Amy. Well, Amy was here, um, but it wasn't Mariana that talked about the, the students. students. Was it Lisa Roberts? I yes. She was the director. Yes. Um, and she spoke about the new student department. Mm -hmm. Yes. The 26. She, she was very excited about it. Okay. As I said, it wasn't, that could have just been me. I didn't recognize the name or the person in the audience. So I couldn't speak. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. That's all, that's all I have. That's all I have. I, yeah. Bird's nest. I had a uh, uh, 
question or, corre or perhaps a correction. Page, top of page four, um, item F, which was the subject of motion six. I, I um, just today um, uh, sent Anna a, a, an email just to, to verify the amounts that appear um, in that paragraph, the first paragraph, um, those amounts describing the health insurance claim claims overage, we'll call it, um, for, for the various departments. So I just, when uh, Anna spoke last meeting, I wrote down those numbers, and they're slightly different, you know, from some of these. Um, so I was wondering if, um, Anna, if, if these looked familiar to you? So on, in terms of, um, in the last sentence, um, the um, 8697 that's actually the sewer amount. Water is was not included in, in the right. sentence. The water amount was actually $17,394. Right, which you s must have said because it's in my notes. Right, yes. So it was 17394 Right, so instead of... I don't usually write that stuff down. I think I copied that off of someone. Yeah, okay. So anyways, and then I think the, you know, the um, with the IVNR, at the time of the meeting, I think the claims were probably at about 500,000. Okay. Um, and so, and then, you know, the rest of the, the information, um, when I looked through it, felt it, you know, ad ad adequately represented the discussion. Okay. And that, um, it's just a, t it's kind of a printing thing that, the number for Board of Education, it looks like an eight, but it's really a six. I, I have that repeatedly where sometimes the sixes look like eights. So. Um, Could be from making the copies. Ma making the multiple original. copies, okay. Yeah. And then what was the town figure that, um, that you had? Uh, uh, it, that was, I had it some, I had. It may have been was, a little bit. And I know you have new ones, which, right. no, which no, is no, a different no. topic. I but I just wanted this, a sentence or two in this paragraph to represent where we were at that July meeting, which is basically covers you know quite a bit of the year. So the the town amount was two hundred thousand thirty six dollars for the IVNR. That's what I had. Yeah. And it's, I mean in the in the minutes it says two hundred. Yeah. Okay. Close enough. Okay. So uh, so I guess um, with the exception of the water thing, we could. I mean, if you're going to make changes, you could add the water, because it says water slash sewer at the eight thousand dollars six ninety seven. Oh, you know, or you could. I mean, because I do. I mean, Anna did give that amount, and I think it should be reflected. That's seventeen thousand three ninety four for the water department. And then I did. Um, I asked Anna, but it's not necessary at this moment to update us at some point about the. Um, I'll review that during my report. Yes. If it's okay. okay. Yeah. Whenever that is. That's great. Thanks. Um, um, is that it? Um, the only other thing is, uh, I had sent an email out, which I wanted to become. It was just to board members, but because of you know FOIA, obviously, I said should it could become uh, part of the record, and this was for the supposed to, supposedly for the July minutes. I sent it out in June. Um, superintendent had sent out a letter uh, describing um, adjustments to meet the the, um, the reduction of $250,000. And then uh, the next day in the newspaper appeared an article, and I circulated that to the board. So I wanted that article to and my, my email, or just at least the article, to become part of the minutes. You don't send it to me. Right. No, that's fine. No, no, no. That's fine. I realize that, but it, um, it's something that um, uh, I, I could have distributed at last meeting, and I did not. So, um, so I can do it now. Since we're amending these minutes, might as well just do it all at once. So I can uh, give you that uh, at this point. The reason why I thought this was good, uh, of course, there's no one here from uh, Board of Education. Um, uh, yes. Yeah. Actually, I'm not going to read it or anything. But uh, just one comment is that, uh, and I can give a copy to, over to Karen as well, thank you, um, is that it was very specific as to where the cuts were coming from, uh, whereas the letter that was sent out to parents was, was more general and did not specify amounts and where, and, and it would specify some areas where the cuts would be made but not amounts. So um, this I thought was helpful and 
sometimes information appears. Yes, sometimes. So. You'll I think I have it there. electronically, but I'll okay. take the copy anyway. Information um, comes out in the paper that um, illuminates um, a situation. I thought this was particularly helpful. Yeah, I think the only question I had at the time was whether or not the Board of Ed supported what the paper was saying. Yes. Because yes. there's always a question yes. about and we can, did the and journalists get it right. Right, and we can add that, uh, you know, I, I mean, again, there's no one here for, that was my question this evening. I would have asked uh, either Mariana or uh, Jeff, um, uh, Mr. Newton, you know, did, <coughs> did you, do you have any issue with, with the, what was presented here? Yeah, that was so. my question when you sent it out. Like I said, did the journalists okay. get it right? Did they? Yeah take right, liberties right. with something that somebody said so right. it'd be nice to have them yeah refudiate right we can, I can still keep it as an open issue you know we can okay certainly. anything okay. else that's it for me thank you I have one thing my, my only issue with that article in the paper was you add up the numbers it only comes to sixty thousand uh, dollars what I wanted to know was where the other 190 is where the cuts were for the 190 yes okay. yes I agree, John, that's uh, yeah. definitely an issue. Because they generalized, they didn't say a couple of different uh, articles in uh, emails. Yeah. With generalized, it didn't give it. So we can include this in last month's meeting minutes, and next time that the Board of Ed's here, we can ask them to explain the Delta. Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. Any other comments? Discussions about what's been amended. I support what Camille said is the, the, the topic that we were discussing, given the, um, the latitude to get other tanks and such. We weren't telling them that they couldn't. We just asked them for a more comprehensive proposal. Um, I think as far as the adjustment to the town, if you're making the other changes to add the other $36 is consistent. Hearing no other, no other comments, questions, or com whatever. Um, all in favor of accepting? Oh, there's no motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have a motion to accept? Make a motion to approve the meeting, uh, the meeting, <coughs> excuse me, minutes of uh, Wednesday, August 14th. No, nope, 24th. Me. July 24th. Uh, July 24th, 2019. As amended. As amended. As amended. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. I have a motion and a second. Any other conversations? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstained? So moved for zero, zero. Thank you. Board of Ed? We don't have a Board of Ed? You're not Board of Ed? No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No Board of Ed present. First Selectman? We don't have First Selectman. <laughs> Director of Finance. Okay, so um, in your green folders, I um, put an updated draft of the revenues and the final uh, the last page because the board of ed entry has um, since that time been done i will point out on the revenues if you go to the updated draft i do a little reconciliation on the bottom because um, we still do not have all the supporting documentation from the tax department to complete all of the um, uh, the revenue entries for the month so but this will give you an idea um, doing the rec reconciliation. So um, anyway, that's what it is. And you know what? It's it, it just it, every day there's always somebody different out during this time of year. So it gets a little um, challenging to get um, things accomplished in a um, timely manner. And then, of course, July is the, the biggest month in the tax office in terms of, um, you know, cash receipts for them. So they did have a very good month um, and then it, it's simple enough I'm um, in the month of July because it's the first month to just kind of scan through the revenue report and see where the other um, revenues that I would normally mention are meaning um, the building permits um, conveyance taxes town clerk fees um, that we received the transportation subsidy what that is that comes to us from through SCAR for the mileage that we travel to um, bring our trash. And then, of course, um, landfill deposits. And that's pretty much about it for receipts um, in the month of July. I don't know if anyone has any questions. You keep records year to year. 
I'm wondering, when I look at percent realized, uh -huh. I struggle with what should it be. But you've got past years, right? So in, you could, oh, go ahead. for these same values. In terms of um, the percents received? Yes. Well, the monthly report that I do give you shows the difference between what we've received the current year and the prior year. So that's giving you a two-month comparison all the time. But not as a percentage, right? As a dollar value? It does, does show it percents percentage? Okay. Um, on um, year-to-date um, in both on the revenue and expenditure, expenditure side, and then in particular with the tax receipts as well. Okay. That's the only question I had. Just okay. trying to trying to qualify myself to forty point eight percent. I don't know if that's good, bad, or indifferent. For the taxes, or just for if I pick a specific line, right? For rent for Cheney Park, which is just the one that caught my eye, is at forty point eight percent. Well, the rent for, for Cheney uh -huh. Park; those are all specific um, leases that we have for the docks, and so you know that that comes in as the individuals that are leasing the docks make their payments. Sometimes, you know, and, and they're not, um, they don't always pay at the, in, at the same time all the time from year, from year to year. I think it depends on how they do on their, on their, uh, with their businesses in terms of when they actually pay us. Just from, yeah, but just from, I mean, that just, that specific line item, just as a general sure. kind of thing, if I saw last year's percent and this year's percent, I could say this one's a little low, this one's a little high. That's, that's all. Okay. I, I do have some questions, though. Go ahead. From August 8th, Anna, through August 14th, the increase of 15 million to 23 million was based on just data entry backlog, or did all of those additional checks no. come in in that period? No, for the month of July, um, the total the total tax receipts in in all cater categories, meaning current prior year, was thirty point eight million dollars. This is just backlog to do to complete the data entry. Okay. And so. So any tax revenues coming in after the deadline, which is what, August 1st or August 15th? They have until August 1st to pay. August 1st, so right. that would be recorded in the August books. That's correct. Okay. Yes. Uh, moving on down to building permits, I was surprised that that was kind of low for this time of year. Is there something that needs to be called to our attention, something that didn't go through? Not that I'm aware of. I can have a discussion with the building official you know, and question him in terms of, I mean, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, because this is the busiest time of year for building. I'm getting some disagreement. Well, <laughs> typically. Not for, permits, not for the permits. Not for permits? Not for permits, permits yeah. coming in. People are swamped now trying to get caught up on their stuff, but you're getting into now school time and you're trying to get caught up on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the permits normally come in earlier, springish. Yeah, spring. And then mm -hmm. the building they takes place. The number was high. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, now is the lull. So is there a working because there's lots of permits mm -hmm. out there from all that activity you saw. And how much time do they get for the permit and before they have to complete the project? Is it seven a ninety years. seven years? Yeah. So I could get a building permit today and it will be good seven years from now, even if I don't drive a single nail. Well, okay. Like <laughs> okay. <laughs> then, okay. It, then it becomes abandoned afterwards. It just kinda of automatically mm -hmm. starts all over. Okay, so um, this is traditionally our slow time. So okay, we're happy to see it come. Okay, and if I remember correctly, all the building permits for Costco were already recorded in the prior year, so yes. we're not to expect any more big Game payments. The 120 units. 120 units. And, and what's what's the time frame for that? Uh, soon. Okay, that's helpful. <laughs> Well, they already paid the zoning part of it, so. Okay. All right. And investment earnings, if I annualize those numbers, I get to $60,000. Is there something that we need to be concerned about there, or do you think we're on target to reach the 70? Well, you have to remember, so we just received all of the tax dollars, so we're um, 
uh, in the process of doing CD. So you're going to see that increase as time goes on. Okay. That makes sense. All right. That's it. Thank you. John, any comments, questions? No. Dan? No. Okay. Any other questions for our Director of Finance? So do you want to do the, the budget reports? I mean, it's, it's the first, it, you know, as I said, it is the first month. Um, I did give you the updated page. Um, and I just, just want to point out in July, we make uh, some principal and interest payments on our debt. So the total of the uh, principal and interest that payments that we made in July was $3.6 million. Then we also paid out the annual library subsydy. This year it's 307000 a quarter. Um, we did pay the, the first installments on both the workers' comp and the liability insurance policies. Um, and then we, we did contribute our share for the IBNR for the health insurance uh, on the town side. Um, and that's pretty much, you know, some of the larger expenses that we did did make during the month. Just one account um, as I was going through the budget that I kind of looked at that was a little bit um, out of, uh, you know, not what I expected, um, and that was the dispatch department overtime. Because mm -hmm. during the budget process, um, we increased the, their staff by one, and mm -hmm. so the expectation that was that we were going to do better with overtime, and we spent 25% of the budget in July. So I did contact um, Sergeant Masick on that, and the thing is, is so the last, our last week in June actually gets paid and charged to this year's budget. It's the way the cycle goes. So in that last week in June, we had a large amount of overtime, and that was prior to having that sixth full-time dispatcher on, on board. So that's a piece of the equation mm -hmm. why the amount expended is a little bit higher. And then the other thing um, was that one of their full-time dispatchers was out on vacation. Mm -hmm. So that created another gap, me, you know, mm -hmm. meaning they had, you know, had to get, um, you know, get shifts filled. Um, Okay, so, and the other thing is they they need to, he mentioned that they need to get more part-time dispatchers. I do believe that they already um, discussed that during the budget process on how diffi uh, difficult it is for them to fill the, the, par the other shifts with part-timers because, because of the, the number of part-timers we have and they don't always all, they aren't always all available to work because they all have other jobs. So. Mm -hmm they're still struggling with that. It's sometimes difficult to hire um, people for those positions. And then as a future issue, um, one of the full-time dispatchers is going to be out on medical leave for a period of time. I don't know what that period of time is. However, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, okay, so we now have the sixth dispatcher, but we're really, we're gonna struggle. To find. We're still mm -hmm. gonna struggle, we're, you know, until we get to a certain point. So I'll, I'll just kind of, you know, bring that to your attention at mm -hmm. this point. So the straight time account should be underspent? They've got positions that aren't getting filled. They've got people on vacation. Well, that's, so when somebody's on vacation, they have vacation time, so they're getting paid. Mm -hmm. So even though somebody's not at work, we're still paying that person. and. The dispatcher that is going to be on a medical leave, uh, while I didn't, I didn't check, he's probably got sick time on the books. So that's going to, we'll still be paying him his full salary, but then we're going to have to get somebody else in to fill the shift. And if we don't have enough part-time staff to do it, we're going to have the full-timers come in and do it. So it's, it's still, they're still going to struggle, I think, this year. So we're going to underspend a little bit on the part-time, but just a little bit. And we're going to spend a lot on the time and a half time. And Could do we have an estimate for how much that's going to end up being? No, I'm um, not at this time. I was just shocked. 25% <laughs> of the budget 25 is... 25% yeah. in yeah. the month of and July. Month. Okay. But they did take reductions in both the part-time budget account and the overtime account this fiscal year as a result of having the six dispatcher. So I think 
you know, like I said, it's going to be, I think we're going to have a little bit of a struggle in, in that department this year. Okay. And our health insurance sheet here is going to start going down as we get on the CT Connecticut, the Connecticut fund. Right. So with, with so I provided you the the update for the incurred but not reported claims. Um, the estimate that I came up with was the eight hundred ninety-one thousand four hundred sixty-five dollars, and to date, those claims are at six hundred seventy-four thousand dollars. You, as you'll note, if you look in July, you can see through about mid-month, we had, you know, rather consistent activity. Essentially a full month of... And, and then you see how it kind of drops off. We have a lag in days between when we get hit for claims. And then in August through today, we've been hit twice for just under 50000 So that's, that's really going to trail off. W was there an updated page for the health insurance? Well, that's what that is. So what was the figure that you said for July? Did you say 800000 No, that's, the, that's what the projection is for all of the incurred but not reported claims to be at $891,465. And th Hope but that's not written on this page. Yeah, it is. It is. It's at the top. Okay. So oh, year to that's date, what I was looking for. Year to date, this is bottom line. Okay. So we spent six and a quarter of the first month, and so far fifty for this month. So it's tapering off well. So and typically, I it'll t taper off. We would expect to see the majority of claims come through in the first ninety days of this fiscal year. You know, as I've mentioned before, sometimes for whatever reason, it, it takes months for something to get paid. So when that will end, I don't have an answer for that at this point in time but I would expect to see most of it to occur through September. So although there's $320,000 left in this account, we can't start looking at that not being spent. Right. Yeah. Okay. It would be nice if the total amount is less than that dollar amount, but I'll also point out that it could be greater than that amount. No, it cannot. So. <laughs> we won't let that happen. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you. New business. <coughs> Ratifying a budget transfer of $47,909. You want to speak to this? Yeah, most of this is just um, are just departmental transfers that we had to do for our final payroll that was charged to last year's budget. No impact on budgets, just moving it from one account to the other account? Within a department, yes. Good. I have a question for Anna. Um, could you give a little detail or background on the second um, transfer on your list, which is the um, from workers' comp uh, to pension? It's number two on the list. And I had an ancillary question to, to you as well, which is um, when I looked at the workers' comp account for 1920, um,